All right, today I'm going to be shooting five rounds at 100 yards with the 62 grain Barnes TTSX bullets. I have actually previously fired these bullets into uh, some of the ballistic gelatin, so that was another day, but it's all going to become part of our same video, another Pack T test on the Barnes TTSX. This is a um, IWI Tavor Schmidt Bender scope. Target at a hundred yards. Five rounds. I should note that this rifle is not zeroed for this particular ammo, so I might not be hitting perfectly in the bullseye. And as you might notice, it is quite windy. Huh. There we go. We are clear and on safe. Not bad on standard deviation. Five rounds, 12.5 feet per second standard deviation. We averaged 2808. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm happy all around with how this did here. I don't know how it did downrange. Actually, you know better than me because you're watching the uh, <laughs> the range cam right now. Now this little 224 556 bullet really performed very well. You know, it performed like what I would expect from the larger caliber uh, rifle bullets. You know, something like you'd want to uh, shoot at a deer, uh, elk, those sort of things. While I'm not saying use a 22 caliber or 224 on deer or elk, but what I'm saying is that this bullet performed very much like its bigger brothers. We have 100% weight retention, actually 99.7, but um, I didn't weigh this bullet before I shot it. It's very likely it wasn't quite exactly 62 grains, and when I pulled it out, um, it had retained all of its weight. Of course, it lost the polymer tip. It has a 185% uh, expansion. That's really nice expansion, and I really like the retention of the shank. We probably could have lost a little bit more of the shank, uh, but uh, I'm not going to complain whatsoever. Now what's important with the shank is that as you have at least some, you know, pretty good shank remaining, what that's going to do is it's going to force the bullet to continue to travel in a straight line as you lose that shank, the bullet tends to want to tumble, become kind of a ball inside the target. And so if we're trying to drive this into and well into a target, having that uh, nice retained shank is very handy. Now those are the terminal results. This bullet scored 290 points out of a total of 500. Hmm, that doesn't sound too impressive. And in fact, there are some other 5.56 five, bullets that actually scored a little bit better. This bullet right here is the Nosler 70 grain, very accurate bullet in my, uh, in my 224 rifles. Performs beautifully, actually. Very expensive bullet, but still, I would prefer hunting and the terminal performance of this bullet over that one. So I kind of think that those numbers can be a little bit deceiving or maybe we're not um, 
calculating those numbers correctly to accurately reflect true terminal performance. Another bullet that has performed very well on the numbers is this also Barnes match burner. You know what? Uh, doesn't look too bad, but once again, just like that Nossler, we're not seeing much of a shank remaining in those bullets like we are with the Barnes 62 grain TTSX. Let's look at how this bullet did on paper. Here's our target 100 yards, recall, for whatever reason, shot a little bit to the right. Could be simply that that rifle is not zeroed for this particular bullet but still uh, achieved a 1.39 MOA group. Now that is quite good. My par uh, or expected standard for my Tavor rifle is a 1.5 MOA, so it certainly satisfied that criteria. It scored 40 out of a total 50 points. That's simply because uh, it wasn't zeroed, and if it did and I pulled it back in, I obviously would have scored better, but I didn't, and this is what we got today. 2,800 feet per second average muzzle velocity, and not too bad of a uh, standard deviation on those muzzle velocities. So precision, accuracy, and consistency, this bullet did a fine job, very nice job. Terminal performance, it did an excellent job, and uh, you know, if I had to choose, at this point, if I had to choose one bullet for my 5.56 five, loads, it's definitely the 62 grain Barnes TTSX. Thanks a bunch for watching. Take care.